I've gone through it all. I've gone through the challenges, the cries, the tears, um, the victories, of course, the wins. But if I can use my experience to make your experience easier, then I've won. <music> hi guys welcome uh welcome back to my channel i am super excited to be finally and fully back to youtube my name is jane if this is your first time coming to my channel you are very much welcome if you're not new you know that i just graduated i completed my phd in chemical engineering and i became a doctor so yeah i'm now dr jane <laughs> I'm still excited. A few weeks ago, I posted my PhD thesis defense vlog. I also posted my commencement ceremony, but that's not what this video is about. If you want to watch my commencement vlog and my thesis defense vlog, go, go click this link here or just go to my channel and watch them. But this video is me coming back fully to YouTube. I keep saying coming back because I kind of took some time off this year because I just wanted to focus and graduate. I was writing the paper, I was writing my thesis, I was um, preparing to graduate, I was applying for jobs, doing interviews, all of that. So I was very busy, so I kind of like kept YouTube on the side. But I managed to post my defense vlog and my graduation ceremony vlog just for you guys to be a part of the celebration because if you've been on my channel for a long time it means you've been part of the journey so i just wanted to carry you guys along on those special days in my life but now i'm back to fully creating content for you on youtube and i'm coming back with a whole different style this is going to be a different kind of thing that i've never done before i'm starting off a new series so it took me a while i've been thinking about what should i call this series i've been praying to god god tell me what should i call this series and what has been laid in my heart is to call it my journey to phd yeah does that does that does that sound okay i'm still finding a way to kind of shorten it so what is going to entail is that this um series which i'm which is going to have like episode one two three this should be episode one not necessarily episode one this is the intro introductory episode but after this you're gonna have episode one two three and so on i'm going to be sharing different aspects of getting a phd not just getting a phd just in also getting a master's but the whole point is to tell you what it took for me as a nigerian yes i'm from nigeria as a nigerian to be in nigeria after apply for admission in the United States. I got admission, I got scholarship, full funding, everything. And then I moved to the US, I started my PhD program. I went through the whole process and now I'm done. And now I'm a doctor. So I want to use my experience as well as the experience of other people, my friends or colleagues I met along the way. I want to use all this experience to help as many people as I can to actualize their dream of studying abroad, of going to grad school abroad. So it's going to cover up different aspects of grad school. I'm going to start from the very beginning. So this whole series is not going to be only for people who are in their home countries and wanting to come abroad to study is going to be for even those that are already studying because i'm going to take you guys through the journey so i wanted to cover up every aspect so if you're already in school you will gain something from this because trust me guys i have a lot of stories to tell i have gone through the process firsthand i've done all of it or apply for scholarship apply for visa do get your visa do visa renewal be in grad school be a teaching assistant be a research assistant gone for conferences done competitions written exams i've i've done oh i mean I've graduated. <laughs> I have all that experience. So I want to really use my experience to help you and help as many as I can. Number one, to actualize your dream of studying abroad. And number two, to make your PhD process as easy as possible. Trust me, the process is not easy. I'm not going to lie. But if I can use my experience to make your experience easier, then I've won. All right, so I've gone through it all. I've gone through the challenges, the cries, the tears, um, the victories, of course, the wins, the loss. I'm going to share it with you guys. It was a whole lot. It took me five years and some months to finish my 
PhD. In case you're new, I got my PhD here in the United States and I've never really been vulnerable in on my channel. I've mostly just been giving you guys info, info to help you, but not necessarily sharing my personal experience. So in this new series, I'm going to be sharing everything 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 because i really just want to help people and if you are excited about this series i want you to let me know in the comment section so i have my list of titles of things that i'm going to be sharing with you guys but if you have anything specifically that you would like to learn about whether you are someone who's already abroad doing your phd or your masters or you are still thinking about it or you're already applying whatever phase you are in let me know in the comment section what you want from me but trust me i have a ton of things for you guys but just in case i have just in case i don't have what you want let me know in the comment section so what is going to happen is i'm going to be doing my best to be dropping a video at least one video on this series every week i said it guys i'm back i'm fully back now i'm no longer a student so now that i'm working like a normal i'm going to be living my life like a normal person i hope to now dedicate more time to youtube so guys i'll be dropping a video every week so if you have not subscribed so click the button and subscribe and make sure to turn the notification bell so that whenever i post the video you will be notified and you'll come and watch let's get this series that i'm so excited for what you guys are going to be getting from this series and i really want to interact with you guys as much as i can so make sure to be dropping your comments dropping your questions i'll be replying and let's get this series started so the first episode that i'm going to be posting is something i've always wanted to do but I never did it. And that is reading my SOP. I'll be reading the statement of purpose that got me into my school where I got my PhD. So a lot of people over the years have been saying, Jane, help me with a statement of purpose. How do I write my admission, my scholarship essay and all of that. I've made tons of videos, this video and other videos on how to um, write statement of purpose, but I've never read the statement of purpose that got me into my school. So in episode, episode one of this series titled my journey to phd i will be reading my statement of purpose and i hope you will listen to it it will inspire you to write one if you're still seeking admission and you get the admission you're looking for so thank you so much guys for watching this video i will see you in episode one of my journey to phd i'll see you in my next video bye